This is Risa McKenzie, Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, presenting QuickBooks Accountant Time Saving Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to show you an accrual method for tracking commissions. With this method, we are going to track the commission on each invoice or credit memo so that we are tracking the expense and the commission payable at the time of sale. The first step is to make sure that your sales reps are set up. So I'm going to go up to List, Customer and Vendor Profile, Sales Rep, and I'm going to add my sales reps in here if I haven't already. And then I'm going to make sure that that field is available on all my forms. So I'm going to go to Templates, and I'm going to choose the forms that I use. I'm going to click the additional customization button and make sure that this at least is checked for showing on the screen. Next I'm going to go into the chart of accounts and make sure that I have a commission payable account set up, other current liability, and I also need a sales expense account, so I'm going to make sure that those are set up. Next, I am going to set up the items, and this is the nitty-gritty of the method. I need two items and a group item. So I've already set these up. So the first item is I use an other charge type, and you can name it whatever you want. This stands for commission expense, and I need to set the amount at a negative. So whatever my percentage is that I'm paying commission on, I'm going to put that in here as a negative. So this is negative 10%. And use the decimal, not the percentage. And assign the uh, expense account. And the other, ch other charge item is the payable. So you want to point that to your commission payable current liability account that you set up and that's going to be a positive amount of whatever your commission percent is. Again, use the decimal. So after I set those two up, I am going to create a new item. This item is going to be a group and I am going to add those two items into here. So commission expense and I'm going to add my commission payable and the quantity on both is going to be one and you can add a description in there if you want and um, don't forget to name it I've already done that so here is my group item with these two in it now as long as this box here is not checked this detail will not print on the invoice. However, you may notice how I kind of have a cryptic name for the item. And the reason I have that is because if your forms are set to print the item on the invoice, then this is going to show. So if you don't want your customers to see what this is, um, then name it something like this. I just call it C invoice total. Now they won't, they'll see this and they will see a line with the total amount, but they won't see the detail of these two lines. So that is something to consider before you decide if this method is going to work for you. Now let's go ahead and add this to an invoice. Let's go over to the customer center and I'm going to choose this invoice here. I've already subtotaled the invoice and they're going to get commission on the whole thing so I'm going to add my group item here. Now I just need to put the quantity on the group line and you can see what it did there. It automatically populated my commission expense and my commission payable. The net change is zero. It doesn't change the invoice at all. It just records my commission. Now I'm going to preview this. And 
and here that is. So you can see how this form is set up to show the item code. So I can see the item code there. I don't think any of my customers would have a problem seeing this there. Um, if they ask what it is, I tell them it's for internal purposes, and you're good to go. Now the final step is to create a report on our activity. So I'm going to go to Reports, Custom Reports, Transaction Detail. I am going to filter for the payable account. So I'm going to go down here, Commissions Payable, make the date, say OK, and I'm going to total by sales rep. And here we go. So the biggest drawback to this method is that when you pay the commission to your sales rep, you cannot assign a sales rep to that transaction. So when you total this report by rep, there are going to be the checks at the bottom that have no sales rep listed. It's not going to group it nice and neat for you. So to overcome that, what you should do is after you run the commission checks, you should immediately go in and do a zero dollar reconciliation on the payable account and mark the check and the corresponding um, entries as paid. And then you can add a filter here. You see I've already marked these two as cleared. So I can simply create another filter on here and I'm going to filter for cleared status equals no. And there we go. That will remove the paid entries from the report. Now, you would need to do your due diligence to make sure that one, all the sales and credit memo transactions are have the rep and the commission entries assigned. So you'd have to run some reports um, to reconcile the the amounts there, make sure that's all squared away. And other than that, you should be good to go. So I hope you found this helpful. And here is a recap of the accrual commission method. Thank you for watching and this concludes our presentation.